It's the 19th of November, Monday. Um, I'm still not feeling especially good. I, uh, I haven't been able to eat too much in the way of solid food. Um, somebody sent me a message yesterday and said, you look pretty good for someone who hasn't eaten. And um, this is all like, you know, makeup. So it's not my actual face. My actual face is frightening. And so I had to, you know, cover that up because that is not a pretty picture. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a week since I've been able to eat anything solid, which is a little rough. I'm, uh, certainly feeling run down and tired. Um, I was talking to my housemate yesterday, and, um, he's coming back. Um, on Wednesday or he's leaving there to come back on Wednesday so he'll be here sometime on Thursday which is nice because he's been gone for a while and I kind of missed him while he was gone and so it'll be good to have him back um, tomorrow is the 60th wedding anniversary of her Majesty the Queen and His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, which is kind of cool um, for anyone who's into the royal family and whatnot. Um, they're uh, the longest married reigning royals in the history of the British Kingdom. And, uh, um, Prince Philip is the longest serving, I guess you could say, um, um, consort in the history of the kingdom, even though others like the Queen Mum, um, lived longer. Uh, her husband died too soon for her to have that title. Um, I was I was talking to someone at work last week about Beatrix, um, the the Queen of the Netherlands, and I just I absolutely love her and her hats that she wears all the time. And she's certainly amongst my favorite royals. And I'm definitely a bit of a royal watcher. Um, and uh, I guess the, the the Dutch royal family has always been a... Had a little bit of a soft spot in my heart. And probably um, a number of other Canadians as well. Because um, the, the Queen um, Beatrix's sister... Um, was born in Ottawa and uh, when the family was living here uh, in the 1940s and um, the, uh, the the Ottawa hospital um, ceded the room that she was born in to the Netherlands so that the princess could be born on Dutch soil which is um, kind of interesting and, and sort of neat. Um, they were living in Stornoway, the family was, at the time. The, the house of the, uh, of the, of Her Majesty's official opposition in, uh, in Parliament, um, which is really a, kind of a neat looking place, actually. Um, yeah. So that's kind of interesting, a little bit of a, a segue there. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't really have a whole lot to say. I'm not really, you know, my brain isn't working 100%, I think. I, um, 
I would like to be able to eat something and keep it down. People have been bugging me to go to the doctor, and I probably should do that, uh, because I would like to know what's wrong and, and be able to fix it. Um, and uh, so I might do that at some point. I don't have a, a GP. Um, I'd have to go to the walk-in clinic or um, talk to uh, my aunt and see if I could go see the doctor that works at the nursing home. Um, she sees my dad and stepmom and my sister and most of the rest of my family, but I haven't had a doctor since I moved back to Kingston. Um, but uh, I guess that's pretty much it for me, and that's good timing, um, I guess, because the phone's ringing. Who is calling me? Oh, I should answer that. Okay, bye. <laughs>